What's up guys, it is Chris back with another watch video and today we are looking at Radcliffe. This is a watch that is a hand wound chronograph designed in the UK and from a brand that is based in the UK. Before I get into it, please don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon, it is super helpful for the channel and I very much appreciate it. So as I mentioned, a hand wound chronograph designed in the UK using the ST19, I always say, that I like the ST19 over most other affordable chronographs that go the quartz route or the mecha quartz route. I think that the ST19 is a really cool movement and a lot of these watches come in at very good prices and this one does come in at a very good price. $336 if you're considering the exchange rate. That is a very good price for a hand wound chronograph and yes, you can see that ST19 from the back and there's that column wheel right there. The ST19 is based on a Venus movement, an old Venus movement that actually was basically replicated or copied by the Chinese, by Seagull, and this is the product of that replication. And it's a good looking movement in my opinion. Yes, it is machine finished, those blued elements, those blued steel elements are chemically treated. They are not heated blue, however, I think it looks really good. It plays a really nice part in any collection, I think, in my opinion, and especially someone who is just starting out, if they are looking into watches, this is really a gateway drug to uh, you know, buying a Salida movement, an Eta movement, or an in-house movement from another brand, or getting into Valju and then going on and on. This is a really cool, uh, you know, gateway drug into watch collecting. But also, if you're a collector, these are really like, it's sort of like a, a, a little gumball. It's like a, a little treat that you can buy yourself that's affordable and you're getting a lot of style. So you're getting a lot of style with this watch. 40 millimeters, 47 millimeter lug to lug, 13.9 millimeters thick, lots of 70s style, especially on that dial. As you can see, you have some orange accents. Those sub-registers of the Bi-Compax ST19 is sort of a rounded off square, very 70s inspired. Uh, looks really good. Radcliffe at the top there, 100 meters water resistance. You get a sign crown, all stainless steel. You get a dome sapphire crystal. They are replacing this tachometer right here with a, a bezel that is actually made with sapphire. Uh, there's some alignment issues here. I'm going to do close-ups of that. The hand does not line up at 12 o'clock uh, and the bezel does not line up with the 12 o'clock indices. So nothing really lines up up there. They're saying that they are aware of these issues. This is just a production uh, prototype and in the production model, everything will line up perfectly and they will be replacing the tachometer with a sapphire insert uh, that will line up. They are also saying that they're going to be replacing this case. Well, not replacing this case. They're going to be finishing this case differently from its current brush state. They're going to be doing some bead blasting, uh, more of a sporty look. This is a racing chronograph. It gets a rally strap, as you can see. They also said they're going to be replacing this strap and upgrading the strap to uh, another perforated strap that's going to have some color accents. They're also changing the colorways of the watch. So I don't believe this watch will be available in this colorway. It'll actually be a blue color with these white sub-registers. Uh, I'm not entirely sure about that, but I will put that information in the description below. Um, but in general, I think this is a really cool watch uh, with some really good looking 70s flair. There's a couple of complaints that I would have. One would be the crown. It's a little bit wobbly. That's another thing that they say that they're going to address. And then of course, the buckle, the buckle is completely unsigned. It's very, very generic. Uh, and I'm hoping that they upgrade this buckle as well uh, before they uh, actually go into production. That is another uh, bit of information that I'll add to the uh, description, or uh, I will ask the brand to actually make a comment in the comment section below and pin that comment uh, if they are able to. So like I said, uh, this is actually borrowed. I have to return this watch. Uh, but I am always happy to display these watches on my channel because, like I said, they're sort of like a gateway drug into collecting. Um, but even if you are a seasoned collector like myself, having a watch with an ST19 in it is fun. It's a really good-looking watch. Um, and you get a lot of watch for your money with these ST19s. 
uh, 10 years ago, 20 years ago, when you wanted a mechanical chronograph, and now you can get a mechanical chronograph for under $500, which is pretty awesome. Uh, very quickly, I'll throw it on my wrist. As I mentioned, this is a 40 millimeter watch, 47 millimeter lug width, um, and it's actually pretty compact. 13.9 millimeters is thicker than I would like to see this watch. However, it's not a deal breaker, and I'll show you that on my wrist really quickly. Before I do, I am wearing the Iphius. This is the Abyssi. Uh, just an incredible, incredible watch. I recently did the unboxing on this watch. Uh, very, very cool watch, uh, and I really have been enjoying it. So the Radcliffe Haxel on my wrist. So it's called the Haxel. I don't know if I actually said that in the beginning of the video. If someone didn't know and they looked at this watch, they would think this watch was a probably a thousand, maybe even more than that. You have that sweep second, uh, a really nice leather rally strap on here. And like I said, they're even upgrading that. Um, I think that if they did something with this buckle, it would look a lot better. It would add to the look of the watch, give it a more expensive look. Uh, I think I like the idea that they're going to go bead blasting on this and you're going to get a sapphire insert. They've actually funded on Kickstarter. Now they're on Indiegogo. So you will get this watch if you go and, and fund them. So this is something that you could actually get. Uh, the crown is signed. I don't know if I remember uh, mentioning that. And you also do get loom on this watch. So I'm going to do a quick loom shot. I'm sure the loom isn't incredible on here, but they said that they did loom the watch. So I will loom. I will do a loom shot very quickly, just so you guys can see, and then we will wrap up the video. They do say it is super Luminova. Well, there you have it. Uh, as you can see, not a ton of loom on this watch, almost uh, non-existent on the indices. There's just on the primary indices at 12, nine, uh, six and three, there's just a little bit of loom and then there's some loom on the hands. It's already fading. I think this is one of the items that they said that they will be addressing as well. Uh, so that is a good thing. And if they could just add a little bit more uh, layers of loom, I don't think they need to add more loom. This is a sports chronograph. I think it looks fine the way it is. With a little bit of loom on those indices and hands, it would look a little bit more uh, application, uh, thicker application of loom. I think it'll look great and uh, it'll be functional enough to, uh, to be useful for uh, you know, night viewing when you actually need it. Anyway, tell me what you think of this watch in the comments below. I think it's pretty cool. I'll be sad to see this watch go. Uh, however, uh, like I said, it is on loan, so I will be sending it back to uh, the brand. Uh, I really have enjoyed my time with it, and uh, uh, hopefully you guys think it's pretty cool. Like I said, add a comment below. Tell me what you think. Please also don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that bell icon, it's super helpful for the channel and I very much appreciate it. Please also follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is watchchrisblog. I have some links in the description. Those links are to Amazon. If you click those links and buy anything, it helps support the channel. It does not cost you anything extra. However, I very much appreciate it. Anyway, thank you for logging on and I'll catch you guys in the next video.